welcome to the Tapeout Garden once again where today we'll be going to plant some leeks. Now, Kath came into the garden last week and said that she'd like to help and what job could she do? So I said, well, dig up the leeks from the polytunnel where we've been growing them on and plant them in this bed. And she went, well, actually, do you know what? I haven't planted a leek before. And it's probably my fault for assuming that people who garden know how to do this. But in fact, it's something that it's kind of time honoured. We're using a dibber to make the hole and Kath is putting them in. She's using her knee as an aid. Yeah, because I'm very puny <laughs> and I realised actually there's a bit of a technique to it. It's not quite straightforward because you've got to try and get the, the dibber pushed in as far as you can and the twist and then you pull it out. The other thing to remember is that it's probably worthwhile watering your soil just in advance yeah. because when you try and put the hole with the dibber and it's dry soil, it just fills in again. Yeah, it just crumbles. So how deep are you making these dibber oh, holes? Well, it's really, there we are, as deep as I can actually. Right, as deep what, as you can. What, Some people what, advocate when how? you get your leeks dug up ready for planting, that they call what's top and tail which means that you take the tops and the tails off the leeks in order to fit them into the hole that you've made with the dibber uh, and to try and release the stress, potential stress, on the young plant as it's trying to make new root hairs. Um, we've decided to use the fleece to cover the young plants to uh, cut down on any drying out and especially on a day like today it's been gorgeous. So um, what we do then is take yep. a leek. Take a leek, yep and then drop it into the yep. hole. And another tip that Peter uh, sh showed me was that if it's got very long roots, uh, give it a little bit of a twist so the roots go uh, right down uh, to the bottom of the hole there. Put a few more in and I'll yep. get the water ready. Okay, so again, just a bit of a twist. Ooh, doesn't always. Yep, there we are. And even these small ones are will be successfully grow, we hope. There we are. Although I am kind of picking out the bigger the bigger ones first. There we are. Excellent. And you were saying, Peter, they're really easy on the whole to grow, leeks, not too many pests. There is a pest called uh, leek rust which uh, one of our garden at homes people was asking me what to do because their veg patch had leek rust in oh. it and it's one of these things that's persistent the spores lie on the soil so what I've done in the past is to just put my leek plants in amongst my plants my ornamental flowers oh. uh, it's almost like a potager and that's just using soil that hasn't had leeks on it before and it seems to have worked other than that uh, you can Troll the varieties and see if you can find one that is reputed to be rust resistant. So, once the plants are in the dibber hole, to actually settle them in, you just fill it with water, and this has the advantage that it settles the roots. This one's trying to float out again, mm -hmm. push it back in. and. There you have it. Thanks again from the Tapeout Garden. See you next time. Bye.